Okay, in this short tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make your hyperlinks underlined. One of the things about a lot of new templates for WordPress is that they don't underline hyperlinks. They just change the color slightly. And this can make it more difficult to spot hyperlinks for visitors on various types of monitors or if the, if the visitor's colorblind or something like that. So I actually like to have my hyperlinks underlined. This Genesis theme that I'm using, News Pro, doesn't underline them by default. So I need to go in and do it. Now, I'm using Google Chrome. And one of the nice things about Google Chrome is if you press F12, you end up with this inspector where you can inspect the HTML and CSS behind the web page. All I need to do is click on the little magnifying glass there and move over to the bit that I actually want to investigate. Now, this name cheap here is a hyperlink. So I want to go in there and have a look. And you can see that the hyperlink is highlighted on this side and the CSS that controls that hyperlink is over on this side and I can go down and I can have a look. Now I know that the way that CSS gets rid of hyperlink underlines is by setting the text decoration to none. Now I can spot very quickly on this side this text decoration equals none and it's in the A tag in the CSS that controls the A tag which is the hyperlink. So I know this is the, the code that I need to change in my CSS file. I can actually do a preview of the change simply by clicking on the little arrow to remove that line. And you can see now the hyperlinks are underlined, which is exactly what I want. I could actually modify the CSS more so that the headlines up here, sorry, the, the menus up here aren't underlined. But I want to make this tutorial as quick and easy as possible. So at the moment, I'm not going to do that. Now, any change you make in this inspector does not change the actual website. Just because I've unselected that now, that's only a preview for me. Anybody visiting the website would still see this because this change hasn't been written to anything. What I need to do, um, first off, have a look at the, the, the CSS here. It's A space curly brackets. And in fact, you can even copy that if you want to. And then go into your dashboard and go to the appearance editor. This will allow you to edit the text files. You want to select the CSS file if it's not already selected. Sorry, the style CSS file. And then I can just do a search pressing F3 in Chrome for my copied text. Now it's finding a few instances of that. And I can just scroll through until I find the one. In fact, I'm going to just type it in again. Yeah, I'm showing a lot. I just need to scroll through until I find the one that only applies to. Go back and have a look. A, it, it's got. No, there's no other classes or anything involved. You can see some of these are, have other. Um, elements to them. So this is a hyperlink in the site footer, for example. And I think I may have even gone past this, let me, because hyperlinks will be controlled in the main part of this. Let me just go back up to the top again. Yeah, it was actually the very first one. And all I need to do, here's that command. You can see that this is exactly the same as this this bit that we looked at. All I need to do is I can actually delete that if I wanted to, but what I'd rather do is add comments around that. Basically, it's a forward slash asterisk in front of the code you want to comment out, and then an asterisk forward slash after the code that you want to comment out. If I now update that file, this now saves it permanently. So we can close this and once it's finished saving we can reload this page and we should find that hyperlinks are now underlined. And as you can see they are. Now since that was so quick let's just take this one step further um, because it might be that you decide that you don't want hyperlinks underlined, for example, in the menu bar. So all we need to do is click on the inspector, go up to the menu bar, and we're looking up here. We've got the 
menu item selected, the home menu item selected, and what I can see over on the CSS side is all of the CSS that controls this menu item. Now, one of them, Genesis Nav Menu, um, that's the class for controlling the look of the menu, has a definition in the style sheet which controls the A ref of the Genesis Nav Menu. And at the moment, it's not overruling the default setting of basically what we just removed in the last section, and that is removing the text decoration equals non-statement. So what we could do is we could add in here the text decoration none, and you can see now it's actually removed. But again, we're just playing around in a preview window here. We, what we would need to do is go back over here and search for Genesis navigation menu, which is this. Here we are. And enter in text decoration none, whoops, colon, and then save it. And then if we reload the page, we should find that the hyperlinks in the menu at the top have now disappeared. And of course, you could follow the same sort of thing here, where we've got the title of the site underlined. And the important information here is this class, site title. And over on the CSS side, we can see this site title, site hover. And again, we could just try it over here to see what happens to make sure we're actually changing the right thing. Text decoration, none. And you can see up here now that that has disappeared. So I will just go back to here and we're going to search for site title. And down here we see this class site title, but down here we see the class site title when it's a hyperlink or when it's a hyperlink with the mouse hovering over it. And so that's where we want to enter in the text decoration non and save and then we can refresh our page and you see that the underlining now has gone. So that's how you inspect elements on the web page and make changes to the CSS. This was a simple example of changing hyperlinks so that hyperlinks are underlined.